Okay, so the rest of this course is going to be focused mostly on issues in the philosophy of mind. And if we're gonna understand these issues and these debates, we just need at the very start to understand what we mean by the mental and the physical. So let's just get some examples uh, to work with, right? Mental events, mental states, mental things. These are things like love and hate and belief and desire, things that happen in the human mind. Normally, we think of these as private. Like, you have some desire, you want something. You can keep that desire to yourself, or you can tell other people about it. But in principle, all of this stuff is private, or at least that's how we normally think of it. There are going to be philosophers that we're reading in this course who are going to challenge that. And then the physical stuff, the physical stuff is the, is the non-private things. That's the movement of particles in the, in the observable universe. Here are some examples. You clap your hands. That's a physical event, right? Or crying. Crying is a physical thing. You know, the tears come out of your eyeballs. Your eyeballs are made up of molecules in space and you cry. Or here are some examples that don't involve the human body. A rock slide or erosion. Right, erosion is when the, I don't know, the dirt or whatever, the land uh, gets swept away into the sea slowly over time or something like that or, or maybe in rivers too. I don't really know. Whatever, these are physical events or physical processes. Descartes thought that the mental stuff and the physical stuff are different. So he was what we call a dualist. Right, dualism is the view that there's two kinds of stuff in the universe. There's the mental stuff and the physical stuff. But then there's going to be some problems for dualism, and we're going to start talking about the main alternative theory of the mind, which we're going to call physicalism. Physicalism is the view that there's only one type of stuff in the universe, and it's physical stuff, right? Now, this view, this is very important, the physicalist view doesn't deny that the mental is real. It just says that the mental is part of the physical. This stuff, love and hate and belief and desire, um, you know, and fear and anger um, and memories and imagination in your mind, all of that stuff, according to the physicalist, all of that stuff is real. It's just some more physical stuff. Maybe it's in addition to erosion and crying and clapping hands, or, or maybe it's just a certain combination of crying and talking and other physical events. There's gonna be different versions of physicalism. We're gonna talk about several of them. We're gonna talk about the um, mind-brain identity theory. We're gonna talk about functionalism. Before those, we're actually gonna talk about behaviorism. These are different versions of physicalism and they're different answers to the question, okay, which physical stuff is the mental if the mental is physical stuff? All right, so we're gonna go through all that sort of stuff in the course. This was just a super short video to just sort of lay the groundwork and give you a sense of what we mean when we say mental and what we mean when we say physical.